good afternoon, Bob Nash here. So today we're going to be talking about friction tape. This is a duck brand friction tape. Um, I haven't really used friction tape before. I was trying to find something to wrap my tools in. Um, this is how kind of your hammer may look after you've been using it for a while, a little bit of paint on it. Uh, they come varnished polyurethane to protect them from the elements. Uh, but after a while they wear down um, and you end up with a slippery surface. When you're swinging a hammer, you don't want that. So with this hammer here, I stripped down the wood, got it cleaned up, applied some friction tape. Now, the friction tape is kind of a cloth material, cotton material, so it's, it's sticky. I assumed it would be sticky on one side and the other side would cause friction, uh, maybe just like a cloth gradient of some kind, but it's actually sticky on both sides. Um, not real easy to get off the roll to start with. kind of like a, an ace bandage dipped in posted adhesive would be my best analogy but once you do get it off there's the tape um, it's woven pretty well it's strong uh, the uses for it they say cover for rubber electrical splices that's right up at the top and then down below excellent for wrapping hockey sticks baseball bats or garden tools um, I didn't really see this as a good use for wrapping tools uh, it's kind of bulky and it's actually sticky to hold on to so if you're hammering something you want to start your nail and then drop back to whack it in there you really can't you got to readjust take it out of your hand and move it because it's it's actually sticky as you can there's a paper towel um, that's not exactly what I was looking for it kind of reminds me of the tape that's under your hood of your vehicle um, I can see it on the electrical splices, uh, things like that, where this would hold up a lot better over weather, uh, water, things like that, than electrical tape might start to fray and unravel where this would probably hold pretty well. Um, I'm not saying use this for your vehicle. I'm. It's possible that you could. I don't know if there's a heat shield with this or not. Um, I actually found when wrapping tools electrical tape now I did kind of a funky design on here but again I stripped down the wood sanded it I actually took a torch and kind of brought out that grain a little bit and then I stained it with uh, just a simple uh, scratch remover uh, old English um, and that seemed to do just fine uh, you don't need to go and buy a a, a half a gallon or a pint of stain for your hammer you could just you know whatever kind of wood uh, conditioners that you might have in the house is just fine once you sand these down you don't want to leave them rough or they'll no longer uh, seal and they'll be open grain to the elements but I found that this grip was was really nice easy to adjust I made it a little thicker at the top and at the bottom so my hand could rest in the middle um, and still it's easy to get it started, slide back, pound in that nail. Um, I don't know, I'm sure there's other uses for this. Since it is a double sided adhesive, um, I imagine if you might put this on the dashboard of your car. Uh, I've been messing with this piece a little bit so it's not as sticky, but as far as friction, 
that's just a blade. As you can see, that'll hand stand straight up. There's definitely some friction there, um, but it's also that adhesive that's on both sides. Uh, so, as far as friction tape goes, I would not recommend it for this purpose. Um, it's just, it's too sticky. Uh, hockey sticks, I don't know if that would be an excellent use for it or not. Uh, if it would grab the puck when you're hitting it and uh, possibly make it deflect into a direction that you didn't want it to go because of the adhesive or if this will uh, generally wear off over time. Um, what other uses to their hockey sticks, baseball bats. I, uh, baseball bat, again, I, I can't see using this for a baseball bat. Uh, when you're when you're about to swing, the ball's high, the low, it's outside, it's inside. You want to be able to adjust quickly on that bat, and with this, you would have to actually let go and readjust your hands to to get it right where you wanted. So again, I wouldn't use it for that. Um, electrical splices, again, I, I don't think I would use this unless it was. A permanent wiring uh, somewhere that um, I don't know why it would be more advantageous than electrical tape. Uh, I found that electrical tape works great on electrical wiring and electrical tape also works great as a tool handle wrap so all in all I mean this is about uh, $5.99 a roll I think for 60 feet so you may be able to find some uses for this. Uh, again, it's like an ace bandage wrapped in posted adhesive. It's kind of strange. Um, there are all different types of electrical tape you can get, different colors um, for your tools. The only thing you have to do is make sure that you do a light sand on this. Uh, 220 grit's fine. Um, if you really want to shave off everything, you can start with like an 80 grit and then go to a 220 grit, but you want to close them pores so that uh, it's not water and oil and stuff like that aren't getting into the actual wood. So you'll need some kind of a finish, a stain. Um, you could polyurethane it. Uh, that's kind of the surface that's on there now. You can see that it's shiny, but that's also what makes it slippery. The only reason I would strip this down first is to get a much better grip on the electrical tape. Once you get that on there, it molds really nicely and it's, it stays. Um, so yeah, that's about it on the friction tape. Uh, pretty cheap. Uh, I've got about another 59 and a half feet left. So I don't know what I'll use it for, but I'll figure out something. Thank you for watching.